Hey Youth World, I am back with another video. I thought this would be fun. I got some inspiration from Emma Hill. Uh, she did a whole entire week of her outfits and I really like that format. So I'm gonna give it a try. Tell me if you guys like this, but I'm gonna take you through an entire week and all of the different outfits that I will be wearing throughout and kind of just show you what I do not on a weekly basis, I guess, but today, this week is special. I'm gonna be traveling for work a little bit. So I figure it'd be fun kind of just showing you. And of course, I'm um, gonna be taking my parents out to Dollywood. So stay tuned for that, but let's just get right into it. I just woke up, it's crack of dawn, can't find my shoes. Dogs probably just, you know, grabbed it, kicked it somewhere under the bed. But um, this is what I usually wear to bed. It is going to be the most comfortable pajamas that you'll ever wear. What I hate about pajamas, you know, whether it's silk or whatever, it's not stretchy enough so that you can kind of move around and not get feel tangled. This is a very stretchy material. It's very comfortable. Out of all of the PJs I have, I just keep coming back to this. And I decided to purchase like every version that they had, the long sleeve, the long pants, the moo moo version where it's just a complete dress. But what I'm wearing today is going to be just like a shirt and uh, shorts that come along with it. And I think it's called Under the Stars, Above the Stars, something like that. Definitely worth checking out and they are super cost effective, very cheap, and they do go on sale at Target a lot of the time. So make sure to link everything down below. Everything will be linked down below via the day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So if you wanna check out the outfits that I'm wearing, cost effective, high low. Hey, I'm just getting ready here and you can see my quote unquote setup where I've got my curling iron. I love this one from Hot Tools just because you can twist the top and turn it between a half inch and a one inch barrel. My sunscreen, which I have already put on. And then I've got this, my favorite hairspray because this one actually does really well in terms of not making your hair look crispy and it smells really nice. And I've got my makeup, which I'll be putting on in a moment here. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day here. All right, I am all checked in and this is going to be my outfit for the rest of the conference today. I've got my, let me just come a little closer, very simple outfit. It's pretty casual and the weather is super nice here in Nashville. I've got my Kelly belt that I got for my birthday from the boyfriend, so I'm sporting that today. And a really simple flowy skirt that I got from Target. This shirt here is going to be a mock croc that I got from Marine Layer. And then this material is just super cozy, super flattering, and it's got a nice uh, texture around the neck, so it looks very flattering. And then my bag of the day is also for my birthday where I wanted to use this as a work tote, which I'll show you what fits inside and how I usually carry my work totes. But isn't it pretty? I think this is just a very put together outfit that you can wear, you know, to a conference or just even to dinner. Also forgot to add that I'm just wearing these cheapy mules from Amazon that I got that are actually pretty comfortable. I opted not to wear high heels because I am going to be walking around downtown Nashville a little bit. So I think this is a pretty put together look, right? Okay, and here is the Celine tote just to show you what I have in here. I didn't have to travel too far, so it's not filled to the brim like it usually is. Let me see if I can get the lighting to be a little bit better. I've got my laptop here, which is incredibly heavy. I don't have a case for my laptop. I'm thinking about getting an insert for this tote just because it is suede lining and it's real suede lining. So I don't want the sharp edges from the laptop itself to mark it up. I'm trying to keep it nice as possible. But first things first, I've got my Dior sunglasses here, which I have the case. These are my sunglasses. And I love this Dior case because it does fold flat down. So that will be easier to make it a little bit more compact. Here's the laptop sleeve that I stole from my boyfriend. I was like, give me a, give me a laptop sleeve right now because <laughs> I was running short on time, but that is going to be a 14 inch laptop. I've got my work phone here. And then I also have my Hermes belt dust bag. This is going to be my conference lanyard. I was walking around like a dork, <laughs> showing the whole world my name, walking around outside. And then of course, I talked about my bag within a bag. So, you know, I don't wanna to have to be carrying this massive tote to dinner. So I got my bag here, which is my Floron Mini Swan. I'm really excited to be able to be using this one again. Let me just move this out of the way, kind of show you what I have. My little bag that I can take to dinner. 
I've got my cosmetic pouch. I've got my Kafune wallet that I love. A bunch of receipts. Got little Altoids. Gotta make sure you stay fresh when you're talking to clients. And then my Beats earphones. I also have my power bank. And then my car keys. So that's pretty much all I carry. And this is going to be a super easy drop the tote off when I'm back at the hotel room, go to dinner with this tiny bag. We're gonna do a quick run through of how I usually pack for a conference. This is gonna be much lighter since I am traveling locally. I'm just spending overnight, but I do have my NZ Wallace duffel tote. I think it's called a bowler in the large. I'll make sure to link everything down below for you, but this is a fantastic option. Hopefully the lighting is good, but I do have my long Um tech box here, or I guess pouch. Got my laptop charger, wall, uh, phone chargers, as well as my smartwatch charger. So it's nice to just keep this. I love how it's the chunky zipper. I also have my shoes. These are my Stuart Weitzman little strappy sandals that I think will work great with my outfit tomorrow. Always make sure to bring shoe bags because your shoes are dirty. You don't want to mix it up with the rest of your clothing. And then you saw my makeup bag, which I can go over in a moment here, but all of my makeup is in there. Here is my Lululemon toiletry bag, which I love. We can definitely cover that. And then the rest of it, oh, forgot my hair curler, fits in there very nicely. And then just the, you know, pajamas, etc. And that is pretty much it. I just basically just pack pretty light here. I don't want to carry lots of heavy things. Now, obviously I do travel um, when it comes to carry on. If it's a couple days longer, I do pack quite differently, which I can actually go over that as I am packing for my Paris trip coming up. So definitely don't miss out on that. All right, second day at the conference here, I switched to a dress, like a sweater dress. And this is going to be from Banana Republic with the boat neck shoulder. And then you've got the ribbed skirt here. It's all one piece, super comfortable, very luxurious. And then I've got my Kelly belt again, and I switched over to some heels. That is from Stuart Weitzman. So I'm running late, <laughs> better, better get going here. And then this is the complete outfit look with my H&M oversized blazer. And then you've got the Celine Trion tote. This is the Bridgestone Arena, downtown Nashville. Everything's being power washed right now. <laughs> Wash away all of the pains and sorrows from last night. Okay, just got back home, so immediately plucked off all of my conference clothing and changed into my Amazon dupe Lululemon, I guess Lululemon dupe pants. And then of course my favorite new jacket, which is also a Lululemon dupe that I got from Quince. Been in <laughs> love with this and have been living in this because it's got pockets. And then of course I am going out with the dogs because they're harassing me and just go for a walk since I've been, you know, away got to get some steps in. So just wanted to give you an update. This is what I usually wear at home. And then I love these as house shoes. These are Ufus, super ugly, <laughs> but incredibly comfortable for my plantar fasciitis. Okay, today's Wednesday, work from home, dig out of my emails from being out for two days at the conference. Super casual, just a Lululemon dupe. This is in black. It, they do offer in multiple colors. I have an olive green. I also have a navy one, but today it's just all black with my same yoga pants. Another Lululemon dupe from Amazon. Um, it's just, this is a fantastic material just because during lunchtime, I actually squirted a bunch of salad dressing here and I was able to just wash it off and wipe it off and there, there are no stains. So. Lots of great color options, and I think they're like, what, $30, $40? So I think something you should consider, same yoga pants as yesterday, so only wore it for a couple hours. Don't need to change out of that. Dogs are harassing me. And I will be heading out later to, um, to the airport. Okay, this is Thursday. Um, have a very important Zoom call. So of course, gotta still sport my yoga pants, my house shoes, and then just throwing on my marine layer mock neck I wore it's a different one, it's clean from Monday and then just throwing on a blazer, just like the Zoom outfit where you have official looking uh, corporate Mickey up on the top 
and lazy homeless bum pants on the bottom here. And the outfit for today is going to be super casual since we are going to Dollywood, which I've never been, taking my parents there. What I'm actually gonna be sporting today is going to be the Madewell sling uh, crossbody, the leather one. The reason behind this is that I want to make sure I can bring these on rides and not have to set it aside in the cubby holes. My sweatshirt I'm wearing is going to be a pre birthday present for my friend where I've got both of my dogs embroidered on there, super cute. And then of course I got some jeans on cause temperature fluctuation here is pretty crazy. During the day versus night, I've got my J brand jeans. Someone did ask me about these. And then my shoes are going to be from Echo. These are my ride and die. As opposed to the Kohan shoes, I know those are pretty popular, but these fit my feet much better. So that's today. Here is my Saturday outfit. We're just doing some shopping today. So I wanted some nice Kohan sneakers that are comfortable. And of course I've got my Floron Hortensia bag and my Bucky sweatshirt I just got. So pretty casual day today. And then this boo-boo happened. So that's uh, bag money, that's bag money. Hey, it's Sunday and it's just another lazy day because I drove home um, four hours back to Nashville from Dollywood. Dogs were insane and super excited to see me, but what I'm just wearing is going to be this Amazon pants. Um, the boyfriend calls it the genie pants. It actually comes in a set, but I can't find the top. It's probably stored up in the winter storage, which I need to get to sometime to get out my winter clothes. So I'm just going ahead and just putting, went and put on a H&M like really thin shirt that I really like. And underneath is just my usual tank top. So it's a really nice outfit to be sitting in the car for four hours, but this H&M is super thin. It's sweater material, but it's made of cotton, so. And that wraps up the entire week. So I hope you enjoyed looking at what I've done this past week. And of course, all of the outfits that I've changed in and out of. So I'm, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go take a nap. So life is hard. I wanna help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail. I'll see y'all next time.